Hello, housemates, and welcome to Diablo 3. As I've said recently in my episode 0 for Diablo 3, new stuff is here. Uh, unfortunately, as of about 11.20 Eastern Standard Time, the Season 5 stuff hasn't started yet, but there's still some patch 2.4.0 stuff that we can look at because we haven't actually done any gameplay with that yet. So what I'm going to try and do first is look at a set dungeon. As you can see, I have on the full Jade Harvester's Joy. Um, I've got a lot of the Witch Doctor sets because I played the Witch Doctor most in Season 4, so I have a lot of um, items for him. So we're going to try this out. Now, the first thing to know is that you don't suddenly have access to the set dungeons as soon as you put on the uh, full set of items. What you need to do is go to a particular area. You need to go in the new Tristram uh, ge uh, geographical area to Leoric's Manor area. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think it's here. Yeah, I think there is, you go to Leoric's Manor and there is a library that you have to go to. Um, no, I just switched all the items in my Witch Doctor, but I haven't yet switched my skills and whatnot. Um, we'll worry about that in a minute. I'm sure everything will be fine. So, pets out. Okay, so let's just check and see what's out here. I think I need to go inside to find the library. It may be that I need to go out into the, uh... Oh, wait, this is new. Hey, hey. What's up, Basila? Royal Quarters. So we have been led into a new area. So the, um, a lot of the interface stuff here is new. So you can see it's telling us as we go how many kills we have. And there's a little indicator, a little fuse, telling us in, at what point the kill streak will reset. So you can reset there, and then immediately we get um, a notification of the feat that we... Sorry, it's hard to talk and do this at the same time. Of the feat that we uh, did. I will forever live in anguish for my last So that's new. There's a lot of UI changes in this like. This is a new area. Royal um, so I have this turned down a little bit in terms of the difficulty because um, I didn't know how hard the harder things would be. And also, I had to use the Jade Harvester's set. This is a different uh, build than I'm used to. So I changed things up a little bit. So we have a new purple mob here, Waloon, the royal bodyguard. He's dominant massacre. So there's extra descriptors for your feats as you build up kills. I assume that you build up other things that you'd usually get feats for as well, um, like busting vases and stuff like that. So my uh, Witch Doctor is built around poison damage stuff. I have uh, a high level gem which, when I ha poison people, makes them take more damage from all sources. Or I haven't actually played this character in a long time. Uh, something I do in terms of poison makes them take more damage. I can cast a lot of those poison novas as you see. Um, I have the ring set, which means that I get huge damage bonuses when I make sure to alternate between my right click and left click attacks, that is, mana gainers and mana defenders. Excuse me, that was gross. I have a cold. Or at least some kind of sinus thing going on. Okay, Tome of Set Dungeons. This is clearly what we're looking for. Tome of Set Dungeons, page 97. What, what did that do? Alliance of the Dying Sun. I have placed it in the antechamber bathed in light, where hope grows eternal. I should hope that you shall never doubt me or my abilities again. 
Okay, so it's not exactly clear what this does. Um, okay, so it just gives you a page from the Tome of Set Dungeons for the set that you are currently wearing. So if you wanted to get a couple of them out of the way immediately, get some pages for them, I assume that you could just wear, uh, bring a couple of sets with you, switch them out, click on the book again, and get that. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. So what we do know is where this is, right? So we are in the Royal Quarters. We went into the Leorix Manor Courtyard. You walk in the door, and maybe it's just the first time you do that, but Asilla's Headless Ghost will guide you to the Royal Quarters, which is a new area, and then you will find this, the Tome of Set Dungeons. And if you are wearing a full six-piece set, then you will get a page which has some rather cryptic instructions. So once again, this is, I have placed it in the antechamber bathed in light where hope grows eternal. I should hope that you shall never doubt me or my abilities again. That makes it sound like to me, so hope grows eternal, uh, antechamber bathed in light, that sounds like something in the high heavens to me. Um, so there's a little bit of guesswork involved in this, some riddling. Um, we'll have to see how close my guess is. Let's just see if there's anything else interesting left in here first. And then, oh, hello. What's up? This is a secret door. Ooh. What's in here? Royal Armor Rack. Black Danon Storm Shield. New Transmog, okay. So, this is just something interesting. Um, the shield itself is total garbage, uh, as you can see. It's a normal item, uh, which has no stat boost whatsoever, but we do get a nice transmog for it, if you're careful about the shield. And this refreshes all the bad guys out here, looks like. Okay, you can see also items crushed, as we said. And there's a speed bonus for it. So there's almost like they built in little mini games into the combat here. Pretty interesting. Um, obviously, before I would actually go into the set dungeon, I need to take a look at my skills and uh, my passive uh, legendary item bonuses and optimize all that, because I have no idea what the set dungeon will bring. So, so far, I'm really liking this little new area that they've added. Um, I like the mechanic for giving you information about the wet, where the set dungeons are and then having you go do further work. So, on my guess that we need to go to the High Heavens, where hope springs eternal, um, that was in, like, sort of the Garden of Hope first tier, something like that. I'm going to go here and see what we can find. I may not be successful, because I may be misinterpreting that cue. Um, I think for the most part, unless until I start getting really tired of it, um, I am going to... Um, not rely on other people's guides in order to find these um, set dungeons. I'm going to try and find them on my own. Solve the riddles. We'll see how well that works. Okay. So you can see we're melting things pretty hard. I could... That was a different color. What was that? Oh, they've changed the color of the unique crafting material Death's Breath. It's interesting. So, um, b before I actually do a set dungeon, as I said, I'll reevaluate my my talents and all that, and I'll probably put the difficulty up a little bit because I don't want it to be super easy. That's not fun to watch. Uh, but this is more of an informational video, basically, to see if we can figure out where the set dungeon is. We now know where to go to get the record of information. So that's one step forward. Uh, other than that, we are still in the dark. So an antechamber, faith in light, where hope grows eternal. Um, my guess is that we're going to the place where we fight Rakanoff. I'm not sure. Um, so let's let's find out. Massacre. Massacre. Yeah, so I have this down at corner 5, as you can see. Uh, before I switch things up, I had this character on corner 8. I think that that might be a little bit too much uh, with the sort of haphazard full set build that's not perfectly um, uh, uh, customized, but I'm not sure. 
Alright, Enlightened Shrine. So let's see if I was remotely correct about this. The Library of Fate. Um, if not, it could still be another one of the, uh, like, small areas in this level. Because uh, this is the Garden of Hope, so that obviously has a lot to do with everything. So, Rakanoff is going to bite it pretty fast here. Not really going to worry about that. Bye bye. Alright, let's see if we can find anything. I don't know how obvious the set dungeons are going to be when they show up. So, yeah. Alright, looks like it's not in here. Um, maybe the word antechamber is a big clue. Um, I can't remember if there are any areas which are which actually are called antechambers, so we may just have to go look around here. And of course, um, if any of you, if I don't find it in this video, and any of you have ideas uh, about where it might be, now if you actually know where it might be, don't spoil it. Don't just tell me where it is. But if you are speculating just as I am and want to uh, help with the riddle here, uh, I'd be happy to have that set uh, So, I just ask if you want to do it. That's all. I want to find it, not necessarily on my own, but uh, with some, like, genuine guesswork help. Yeah, I guess you know. I've forgotten that it's slightly difficult to actually talk to him playing this game, so my uh I apologize for that. Poison for long torment for brute, you must die. Your oppressor friend can also die. Here's, might as well do this question on all of here. Garden of Hope second tier. It may also be there, obviously, but let's, <coughs> excuse me, let's uh, look at the Garden of Hope first tier more exhaustively before we go. Now, of course, the answer to this quote unquote riddle may be <coughs> entirely obvious. Um, and it's just that I haven't played this game in quite a while, and I've forgotten what the game is place to I am sure that there is already a list uh, that spoils all of the locations for you if you are so inclined um, because this this 2.4.0 patch has been out for a couple of days no doubt the real serious players have already burned through all that new content and so of course um, what they're about Maybe 20, 20 or so of these sets. Uh, maybe not quite that many. So that's a lot of new content to find. It's a lot of riddles to answer. Okay. We are basically out of areas to think. I don't think there's anything significant over in this area, and there's nothing significant back there. So let's continue on to the Garden of Hope Tier 2. 
Once the season comes out, I'm going to focus on uh, my new seasonal character, and then every once in a while, when I uh, maybe want to take a break from that and go back to one of my, you know, uh, more well-built characters, I'll pick up a season dungeon and check that out. So that'll be the way that I structure my Diablo content, for the most part. Okay. Oh, is this it? The Killing Grounds. That sounds promising. Um, let's... I mean, this has got to be it. Let's go see what we have. Oh, actually, as I said, we're going to first Town Portal um, check out our uh, skill arrangement. Um, now that we know where it is, I think it'll stay in the same place. I can exit this game, bump the difficulty back up, and uh, then actually do the dungeon. So uh, I think I'll end this first video and then continue our Jade Harvester set dungeon stuff in the next video. And in between that, I'll fix my skills up. Um, uh, so I won't tell you what they are now and tell you what they change to, but I will go through what I set them to in the beginning of the next video. So hopefully you've liked this. Uh, if you want to see the actual set dungeon, please stay tuned. The, that video should be up right after this one. And well, if you're not going to do that, right. then I, I don't care what you do.